does that get off the rails like that in the third? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I don't really have an answer for that. It's just, I mean, completely unacceptable. Um, it's just not not all right. I don't I don't think that should ever happen. A situation like that. Um, it's we need to have respect for each other, uh, the game. Like you can't just go out there and play summer hockey for a period and um, think that's all right at, at any point. Um, it's we're. We're grown men in this league and need to put in an effort that's acceptable and it's not going to go your way every night, but you can't let that's just, that's unacceptable. Braden, how does that get off the rails in the third period after especially a pretty strong second and pretty, you know, you had a decent first too? Just essentially boils down to, to effort and you let them, you know, hang or let it, we, we let our, our goal hang out to dry in there in the third period and let them get eight. So, uh, you know, you can't sugarcoat it when you, you let Nate, and it just boils down to, uh, you know, being in a hockey game, able to come back 3-1 to letting in five in the in the third period. It's just absolutely unacceptable. I know the days of the captain getting on a guy's face, that was 20 years ago, but how do you make, get the message across to guys that you don't think you're giving the effort? Yeah, I mean those those days are definitely um, gone. But at the same time, uh, it's my job. It's it's Falker's job. It's it's Colton, and obviously Tom when he's around. Uh, we got to hold the guys. Each other accountable, and essentially hold each hold each other accountable, um, and hold hold yourself accountable. So um, it all starts with me, um, you know, with uh, that happening uh, in Ottawa, and then happening again tonight. Um, you know, it, it all starts with me, and, and and I can't let that happen again this season. And, and it's just it's just unacceptable to um, you know, you're going to lose hockey games, but uh, you know, to get embarrassed on home ice uh, on, on Saturday night, uh, you can't let that happen. How does, how does that game get off the rails like that in the third period? And you actually seemed like you still had a, a decent chance for two periods. Yeah, I thought, you know, in the first period, I thought we played well. We, you know, we generated a lot of opportunities. We were able to kind of cash in on some of them. Um, I thought in the second period, though, our, our game started to kind of slip away, what we were doing in the first. I thought our line changes, um, you know, we, we had a, a few line changes that were – you know, that put us in a lot of trouble. Um, you know, in the third period, you know, they come out and they score two power play goals, and you know, we got to protect our goalies better in those situations. Justin Fault mentioned summer hockey and Bolton. He and Braden talk about effort based. Do you feel the same? Well, I, th I think the effort was in in the first and and first parts of the second were there, but. Um, it needs obviously it needs to be there for for the whole game and, and certainly for you know when the game's a five one hockey game like the effort's got to be there for your goaltending and, and you got to be able to protect your goalie in those situations. Yeah, what, what can you do? What can your leaders do to get people on the right track? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to to sit here. I mean, and and be negative about the situation and there, there's many reasons to, to to look back you know in the last two weeks we've you know had two games where you know it's just unacceptable mm -hmm. the way we're playing in those situations and and finding ways to stop the bleeding really um and, you know and then we bounce back with some good efforts but we haven't been able to sustain it and we have to be able to sustain better playing hockey we can't we can't take you know one or two step forward and then keep taking these steps back like our consistency when we're playing well we have to be able to maintain that is uh, an end result of this or is this game the end result of two straight games of being all in one in the first minute eight or more being down low more than the stars are certain leads to focus. Yeah, I mean chasing chasing the game, but you know I thought a reaction after it was one was good. I thought, you know, we didn't let off the foot, but once 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 the two goals happen in the third, like we have to have a better response again, you know, protecting our goalies, but you know 
up to that up to that point in the third in the, after the second period we have to recognize the little details in our game that make a difference and you know we're in a game at that point you know it's a 3-1 hockey game um, you know we start to turn the puck over in the second period uh, which we didn't do a lot of in the first and a lot of that stuff just kind of carried over now you get a couple of bad bounces but if you're not willing to work you're not going to get the bounces going your way when you come in here, I guess on Monday, you're probably going to have fans feeling, you know, well, the coach needs to come in, maybe have an iron fist after mm-hmm. a result like this, but do you let them sort this out themselves? No, it's it, we have to sort it out as a group. It's not just going to be the players, it's going to be the coaches and the players together. We're in this together. The two eight to one losses this close to that set off? Yeah. Alarm, yeah, and it's certainly, like I said, especially in the third period, um, you know. When it's five five one, like we have to do a better job of making sure that we stop the bleeding, and and you know we just got to find more will in those situations again, like playing for each other and playing for their goaltender. Through the injuries, don't leave you with a lot of bodies. So sometimes a coach can move guys around or take away ice time, but aren't your hands kind of tied with the situation the way it is to? be able to take some things away from guys and giving you what they need to do? Well, I need guys to play to their potential um, and be able to do that for 60 minutes. And I believe the guys in the room can do that and we can have success with the group that we have. And But we need more from, from, from all of us in here. Um, you know, I, changing guys in, in and out of the lineup obviously isn't an option right now. Um, but the players themselves and the group in the room, if they play to their potential, we'll win hockey games, you know, and it's being consistent from day to day to be able to do that.